The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, says work has commenced towards preparation for the off-cycle elections of Edo and Ondo states. The commission resumed after almost a nine-week break following the strict guidelines for hygiene management amid the coronavirus pandemic. Plus, TV Africa visited the commission's headquarters in Abuja to confirm the state of activities. Our correspondent, Amadine Uyi, tells us more. It's been several months since INEC suspended its activities. At the headquarters of the commission, several vehicles and staff were seen who had resumed duties. Notably those who were seen going inside the facility were observed to be seen washing their hands and on face mask, following a guideline released earlier in the week for senior staff of the commission to resume activities. It's been almost six weeks since the commission suspended its activities because of the coronavirus pandemic. However, with the offshoot elections of Edo and Ondo fast approaching, political stakeholders had begun to get apprehensive that the elections might be postponed. Though INEC had consistently denied that the elections would go according to its scheduled timetable, the commission released safety guidelines for its employees to resume work today. In the guidelines included proper hand washing techniques, the use of hand sanitizers, and the compulsory use of face masks for the employees before they assess the facility. You cannot overemphasize anything to do with health. You know, um, it's part of the conditions for resumption that these facilities must be put in place. First of all, we have to decontaminate all our premises before resumption. And we have to ensure, issue the statement for guidelines for resumption. One of the, and it's in, in, in consonance with what the uh, presidential task force and health authorities have said, that it's with regular washing of hands, there is regular use of sanitizers, so that we contain the spread of, these, uh, of this terrible virus. The director of voter education, Uluwale Osaze Uzi, while confirming the commission has not been in operation for nine weeks, says only staff above grade level 14 have resumed. Mr. Osaze Uzi says the commission will maximize available human resources to achieve its objectives. Not all staff are in the office, all are on standby, um, but the work has uh, continued. All the planning and uh, implementation of those plans for Edo and Ondo, the off-cycle elections, We'll go ahead. We are proceeding with arrangements of those. Um, but a lot of our junior staff, for example, are not here. Most of the staff are here from levels 14 to 17. Um, chairman, some commissioners are also operating from home. I just came out with a three-hour uh, Zoom meeting. where We uh, are talking about plans for Edo and future activities. He also adds that the commission is fully aware of the current coronavirus pandemic and will ensure voters are put into consideration in his plan for the upcoming Edwin Ondo governorship polls. There are risks in everything you do. In crossing this road, there's a risk you take. But a calculated risk. In taking risks, you also weigh the other options. Um, there are risks, but we're also taking steps to mitigate uh, risks that we encounter, not only by NEC officials, by voters, by every other person involved in the electoral process. We are looking at those risks, mitigating risks, and consulting widely, not just with our usual stakeholders, but also, more importantly, with the health authorities. It's a risk worth taking. The world may have to live with COVID 19. So, if you say you don't want to hold the elections during this period, are you so sure that you will not run into a constitutional crisis? Because the constitution has prescribed the period within which election must suit, failure of which you will have a constitutional breach. So, to that extent, it's just that a new guidelines will have to be brought up about campaigns, about primaries, about uh, even voting procedures. South Korea had an election early this year in spite of COVID-19. Nigeria can do so. Amadine Uyi, Plus TV Africa.